Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today we're out here in Prosper, Texas. We're gonna show you how to wire and install a PoE IP surveillance camera. All right, so first things we're gonna do, we're gonna be mounting it right up here in the corner. We've got our dome camera. I like to just test fit it, make sure that it's gonna fit where we want it to. We're gonna have it right about here. All right guys, so we know we're gonna place the camera right here. We're using a IP dome camera. The cameras come with a template here for drilling uh, where you're gonna place the three screws in. Uh, in this situation, when you're putting it into a soffit, we can just pre-drill and put a uh, screw right into the, the soffit here. We don't typically really need to use uh, anchors or anything like that just because the soffit is strong enough to, to handle that for us. So we're going to take our sticker off. It's nice to include these stickers so that we can stick it right to where we want to go. And we try and line up the four holes. So we're going to show you here, or the three holes, excuse me. So as you can see here, there are three holes. One's right here that's where the screws are gonna go. So we try and line those up uh, into where the wood is gonna be and not into one of the holes in the soffit here. And we got that perfectly lined up right where I want it. So now we can take our drill, the head of the, uh, the coupler where the, the female end of for the PoE connector is for the ethernet. Uh, we use a one inch spade bit here so that we can get that hole big enough to fit that into. Next we're going to go ahead and drill the three holes. We're using the 564 uh, drill bit which would be about the right size for the screws that we're using. All right, so we're using uh, magnets here. So this, these come, you can get these separately or individually. We can get them for you, or uh, this is really part of a magnet pole setup for magnet spot. And we've got our fiber rod. So it's got a threaded end and this is female. So we're going to just screw this in like so. And so then we've got a nice tight, secure end here. We're gonna stick this into the attic. This allows us uh, easier access and ability to uh, grab the magnets from inside the attic uh, and get things to the wall and just a lot easier. All right, so we've got our magnet on our fiber rods here, and we have the Cat6 Ethernet taped to the end, as well as labeled, so we know exactly where this cable is in the home and where it's going to be running to so that we don't have to worry about it later on. So we're going to stick this up in the attic here. And we have to worry about the roof line and things like that. That's why we're using rods, because uh, we'll never be able to get over here otherwise. All right, guys, so we've got the cable run in the attic. Uh, we're going to be terminating this end to a male uh, Cat6 terminator. Inside, we're going to be doing to a keystone. So I always like to put a little service loop up in the attic here. We've got this end. We're going to be using our Platinum Tools Easy RJ Pro HD crimper tool. Going to strip the outer jacket. So we're going to take the uh, the end of our fluke uh, tester. We're just going to plug it in. We're going to go inside, terminate to the female end uh, to the keystone, and go on uh, and test on that end with the fluke tester. All right. So I always cut off uh, the first few inches after I run it through, just because they the cable flexes and you don't want to 
ensure that you, you don't have any um, broken connect cables inside of here. tested and certified for gigabit. All right guys, now that we've got our cable tested and certified by Fluke, our Fluke testers, we're gonna get our camera up. We've got the dome camera like we showed you before. There are three, uh, three screws with the uh, security bit here. They come with, uh, with a key here for you. We're gonna make sure all these are loosened and then the cover comes off. So we've got the cover off, which is gonna reveal the holes here where the screws are gonna go. We're gonna put this aside. We're gonna go ahead and plug our pigtail in. Got a secure fit. We're gonna shove the rest of the cable up in here. There's a string here that you can take off. You wanna take the screw out if you want this to be free, but I like to leave it on. While on here, the ladder, it, I don't like to uh, have it fall off or have to mess with it later. All right, we've got our dog ears up in here. Okay, we're gonna grab one of the screws. Just use a standard Phillips head screw. Going to Check the direction we're going to put this in. And go right here. There we go. Got it situated about how we're going to put it, so we're going to go ahead and get the screw through the hole. We're gonna get this started here. All right. So now of course this whole unit turns on and we can adjust vertically where we wanna be as well. So what we're going to do is get the camera plugged in and pull it up on the interface so we can aim the camera and position it perfectly. All right, guys, now that we've got the camera positioned perfectly on here to cover the driveway, we're going to go ahead and use our, again, our security bit. And we're going to attach the cover back on here. There's uh, spaces where these screws go in and using the included security bit. Let's get it lined up. And screw it in. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Of course, we just showed you how to install a PoE uh, surveillance camera. This is a dome camera right here, which we have up here. This is in white. They do come in a gray, black color, or white. Um, we can have these delivered to you, or we can install them for you. Uh, this is a, like I said, a PoE camera. It's running Ethernet. We ran Cat6 Ethernet for everything. Uh, if you're needing a system like this, please don't hesitate to call us at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Uh, we are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and like our videos to help uh, support your local businesses. Thanks, guys. Thank you.